China has revolutionized river transportation in mountainous terrain with a groundbreaking engineering marvel, a project so ambitious it allows ships to travel over mountains. Let's take a closer look at this incredible achievement. The ship elevator at the Three Gorges Dam in China is one of the largest in the world. However, the Gupitan Ship Elevator, an even more ambitious and massive project, continues to push the boundaries in this field. Holding the title of the world's largest ship elevator, Gupitan can lift ships weighing up to 50,000 tons to a height of 199 meters, equivalent to a typical 60-story building. This extraordinary capacity plays a vital role in ensuring smooth river transportation through China's rugged interior. With its immense lifting power, the Gupitan Ship Elevator plays a crucial role in connecting the Wu River to broader economic networks. The system is not made up of a single elevator, but consists of three separate interconnected lifts, allowing vessels to be transported seamlessly across different elevation levels. The first vertical boat lift is a variable height elevator that can operate at heights ranging from 72 to 79 meters, depending on the downstream water level. The second vertical boat lift is a fixed height system, standing at 127 meters, making it the tallest boat lift in the world. The upstream vertical boat lift features a variable landing height of up to 47 meters, depending on the reservoir's water level. The Gupitan system is designed not only for power, but also for extraordinary speed. Each elevator can lift ships weighing up to 1,800 tons, raising them at a rate of about 8 meters per minute. This means that a 500-ton ship can be elevated in just 10 minutes. What truly sets the Gupitan ship elevator apart is its 2.3-kilometer long network of elevated aqueducts and tunnels. Suspended 100 meters above ground level, this engineering marvel allows ships to glide effortlessly above the mountains. Vessels traveling through these suspended waterways appear to sail over the landscape, creating a surreal and breathtaking scene. This remarkable feature has made the Gupitan ship elevator a global attraction. Photos and videos of ships seemingly walking on an overpass quickly went viral, capturing the attention of millions worldwide. The construction of the Gupitan ship elevator was a major project completed in 2021 at a cost of approximately 7.775 billion yuan. With this investment, China not only built a functional elevator, but also achieved the seemingly impossible, overcoming a significant obstacle to river transportation in one of the country's most mountainous regions through engineering expertise and ingenuity. This accomplishment may seem like magic but it was made possible by a remarkable feat of engineering. In massive engineering projects like Gupitan, energy consumption and efficiency are always critical concerns. The electric motors and other mechanical components used in the operation of ship elevators require enormous amounts of power. However, these systems are notable not only for their high energy consumption, but also for their exceptional energy efficiency. Counterweight systems help prevent unnecessary energy waste by maintaining balance within the elevators. This ensures that only the energy required for movement is consumed, significantly reducing the load on the motors. Additionally, modern ship elevators utilize regenerative energy systems to recycle energy generated during braking. This allows these giant machines not only to produce immense power, but also to manage it with remarkable efficiency. The impressive energy management of the Gupitan ship elevator is made possible by the effective design of its counterweight mechanisms. These systems balance the elevator's lifting force, optimizing energy consumption and enhancing the overall efficiency of the system. The key to lifting gigantic ships lies in a technological marvel known as a counterweight system. Much like a conventional building elevator, a ship elevator balances the weight it carries using massive counterweights. When a ship enters the water-filled chamber, the total weight of the chamber remains constant, whether it contains just water or both the ship and water together. Th fundamental principle that ensures this balance and facilitates lifting and lowering is Archimedes' principle. Large electric motors and gearboxes provide the thrust needed to overcome friction and enable smooth movement. For example, the ship elevator at the Three Gorges Dam uses four motors each generating 320 kW of power, 
for a combined total of 1,280 kW. This is the kind of power required to lift a massive structure comparable to a skyscraper. The chamber carrying the ship is connected to the counterweights through steel cables and enormous pulleys. The system at the Three Gorges Dam uses 256 cables, each capable of supporting a load of 460 tons. These cables function similarly to those in a conventional elevator, but are much larger and stronger. Thanks to these cables, the chamber carrying the ship moves up and down smoothly and securely. To keep these complex systems operating efficiently and ensure that ships remain correctly positioned, ship elevators rely on sophisticated computer systems. These systems regulate speed, ensure accurate stopping points, and maintain balance, even in the face of fluctuating water levels or varying winds conditions. In essence, every detail is meticulously managed by advanced computer technology. These massive engineering projects developed by China not only make transportation more efficient, but also maximize the economic potential of rivers. At the same time, the Gupadin ship elevator stands as a world-class example of engineering excellence and energy efficiency. It has not only pushed the boundaries of transportation, but also serves as an inspiration for future large-scale engineering projects through its sustainable and efficient energy management. Doc, what are your thoughts on this groundbreaking project? Feel free to share your opinions in the comments section.